ACC Disha Chauhan and today I am here to talk about the ACC exemptions. Yes, if you have done certain qualifications, ACC offers you exemptions for those subjects. So they basically say they understand that you would have probably studied those subjects on those particular qualifications. So you don't have to appear again for those exams. You just have to pay an exemption fee and you can then move on to the rest of the subjects. So that is a benefit that ACC does offer. So in this video, we will be discussing, of course, about few of the qualifications, the popular qualifications and what are the exemptions available. However, in case you are doing some other qualification and you want to know whether or not you are going to get any exemptions, ACC also has an ACC exemption calculator. Yes. You can just go to Google, type in ACC Exemption Calculator, then the official website will come in. You will go there, you will put your university's name, uh, the year of your graduation or when you're graduating. Then you can select the course and you will just get to know, are you eligible for exemptions? What are the subjects that you will be eligible for? So it's that simple. So let's start with the video. So for MBA qualified people who have done MBA finance, they will get three exemptions. Yes, you will get the entire knowledge level exempted. You will not have to give the BT, FA and MA exam and you can simply just move on to your skill level and then to your professional level. Now for BCom students, now this is a new change which is coming in from your 2023. Earlier what used to be the case that for BCom graduates, they used to get four papers exempted. But from now, from 2023 onwards, BCom graduates are going to get five papers exempted. Yes, the entire knowledge level, the law paper of your skill level and the tax paper also. Now, if you are a BCom graduate, you're graduating in 2023, uh, you are going to get these exemptions. However, if you are pursuing BCom, let's say you are now in the first year or second year, uh, you will still be eligible uh, for these exemptions. It could be a possibility, but there are certain colleges which will be giving these uh, five exemptions that is that if you're studying from those colleges you will get these five exemptions so if you are a pursuing student uh, if you want to know whether or not you are eligible for that exemption you can of course contact Fintram Global there will be a number on the screen you can call or whatsapp on this number to know more that if you are a BCom pursuing student and you're studying from this particular XYZ college are you eligible for five exemption or not and if you are a BCom graduate and you are graduated in 2023, you will be, of course, eligible for these five papers to be exempted. However, I will say this, that if you are a pursuing student, like if you're pursuing BCom and your, let's say your college is in that category that you meet that uh, criteria and you get these five paper exempted, I will, however, still suggest that it is going to be very important that you still go through the content of these subjects because you know you are not graduated BCom, you are pursuing and probably you want to start ACC side by side and you get exemption and you can move on to the skill level uh, to other papers which are not exempted but if you don't have the base knowledge if you don't have the base knowledge of BT, FA, uh, tax then of course when you are giving the other papers of skill or when you move on to the professional level you could face some difficulty so I will definitely suggest that okay even if, if get exemptions at least go to the content build your base because then you might face difficulties in the skill or professional level if you do not have a strong base right and you can of course contact Fintram Global and you know to tell them that you I want to take this course even though I'm not gonna appear for the exam but I just want to learn right so you could go to the go through the content to just build your base and like always you can contact us uh, because you know if you are doing it on your own the exemption fees and everything is quite a lot but if you go through our approved partner like Fintram Global who is a gold approved learning partner you can get many benefits so do contact us. Alright coming on to now let's say you are a CA IPCC clear candidate right you have cleared your CA IPCC will you get any exemptions yes you will get five exemptions the entire knowledge level you will get tax exempted and double a right so this is what you will get exempted entire knowledge and tax and double a let's say you are a you are a person who has cleared your ca you are a ca and you want to pursue acc will you get any exemptions yes you will my friend 
you will get nine papers exempted that is the entire knowledge and entire skill level and you can straight up move on to the professional level so that is of course a benefit that you will get if let's say you are a cma indian cma qualified indian cma and you want to pursue acc many people want to do that right so you will also get exemptions you will get up to nine exemptions uh, you know again entire knowledge skill exempted straight on you can move on to your professional level and like i said for any other qualification that you might have you want to know you can of course go to the acc exemption calculator and if you are a bcom pursuing student and you want to know that are you eligible for those five exemptions or, or you will just get four and you're confused you can of course contact us winfram global and if you want to know in general about the acc course whether it's the fee structure the subjects you know the job opportunities we have curated a series which is called acc bites we have entire playlist you know you are link it in the the i button or description box so make sure you go through that to know more all right so all the best and i'll see you again soon till then this is disha chauhan signing off